In 2012, Becky and Steve Vivian learned that their youngest two children, Eli and Ella, had juvenile onset metachromatic leukodystrophy, or MLD. The children would lose the ability to walk, talk, eat, and see, and were not expected to survive beyond the age of 18. Three months before diagnosis, when I really said something is really, really wrong with him, it was at field day, and he had to do a potato sack race, and he got in the potato sack race, and he stood there, and he couldn't hop. Well, she just pulled us in the room and said, I, I don't even know how to say this. I mean, your son has what we think, um, just from the MRI, he looks like he has metachromatic leukodystrophy. We said, what do you do for it? And she just looked at us and she said, there's, there's really, there's no treatment. The only available treatment in the United States would never cure the children nor even stop the disease's damage to the brain and central nervous system. There was even a chance the treatment might kill the children faster than the disease would. MLD is, is, is a devastating disease, not only for the children, but the families that have to go through it. MLD is a brutal disease. It's not fair for any child to have to go through this. Through a connection on Facebook, the Vivians learned about a pioneering gene therapy for MLD being led in Milan, Italy by Dr. Alessandra Biffi. This is it, this is our miracle. She, we got her to agree to see them. He's not going downhill. He has too many people praying for him. This is not happening, this is not our journey. Our journey is to go to Milan and get him gene therapy. Milan was the one that made sense. It was the one that was the furthest along and had some some positive results. Eli and Ella left their home in Pennsylvania with their mother Becky to go to Milan, Italy in search of a miracle. Eli and Ella became the eighth and ninth children in the world to undergo the treatment. Using the stem cells from the children's bone marrow, Dr. Biffy and her team repaired the defective gene that causes MLD. Eli is the most unique, special kid I've ever met in my life. He's hysterical, he's got the dry sense of humor, he is uh, caring, loving, compassionate. When I think of Eli, he, um, you know, as much as he's been through, rarely complains and always has a smile. Ella is one fierce child. <laughs> she gives us a run for our money, that's for sure. But I really feel that it's helped her immensely during this whole process because she is a fighter. My goal in this is another child who gets diagnosed, who can still walk, who can still talk, deserves a right to get gene therapy. They deserve a right to get it in their own country so they don't have to leave and go to Milan or get turned down. They deserve the right to live. Join the fight against leukodystrophy. More miracles like Eli and Ella are waiting. It is time to bring gene therapy to America.